Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out Keys Killer. So excited. This is a repack part of a repackage album off of ooh, what was the name of the album? I know I did a first listen to it. I'm so bad with names today. I'm forgetting everything. But anyways, Gasoline was an insane title track that again that album was so good all those b-sides are amazing so can't wait to check out the one or two that he uh is dropping a part of this uh repackaged album and checking out killer so yeah we're in a little bit of a of a, of a villain era if you would with key literally has a song called villain um but yeah it's really really excited what he's been doing as a soloist has been next level i mean i feel like all the shiny members are um but yeah and i love what he's doing um i mean think about it bad love Gasoline girl all of them all of them and, and especially the discography the b-sides having crazy so very excited I'm a little nervous cuz what key what are you giving us but uh, yeah, you know what it like a Who set the car on fire? Wait is that CGI fire yo cuz that low-key if that is that looks so real That's a good reveal shot Ooh. Ooh, look at the pants. Ooh, leg, hello. Nice. One glove. Sparkly jacket, yes. Camera work. Crazy, that lighting is crazy too, that's dope. You really said that retro sound is my sound, and we love it. I think it's great for Keith. Nice. Ooh! Flamethrower. I love this set. This is dope. It was a nice cut, match cut. Look at that! Oh my god! It is hand. What are you running from? Ooh. Ooh. It's sort of like that one moment in the Badlands choreography. Look at that! Yes. The fit? Yo, get the ice on shoulders. The car is so amazing. It is interesting that
We'll let it play out. We'll let it finish. What a... Huh? What was that last shot for? I don't know. Um, anyways, um, amazing, amazing song. Um, it's interesting that in a weird way, it does have like, it, oh, it like, they're not even related at all, but like a Michael Jackson thriller vibe. And I think it's only because, um, the sort of concepts that you're singing about in the song, um, uh, but also it, that has that 80 sound, this one. Thriller doesn't sound, it doesn't sound super dated like it's from the 80s, uh, but like with like retro concepts like this, um, the, I mean the retro songs don't sound dated because they're updated, but, um, it's interesting that like I was catching those vibes and then he has like the one glove, sparkly outfits, you know what I mean? Um, but they are like in no way similar at all, but that's, I don't know, maybe the same sort of... Not, it's not the same feeling, or there's there's something of a similar vibe that I'm catching, even though, again, they are not even similar at all. Um, but I think he really killed that. Nobody's really doing the retro sound anymore. He's still bringing it to the table, which makes it feel so fresh, because it is so not what everybody's doing right now. But it doesn't feel like how I got tired of it when everybody was doing it. I'm not tired of it. Like, he keep killing it, keep working it. The choreography, insane. We love it. We like that sort of... Chanel, vintage Chanel type of fits, like get it key. Um, he was really killing that. Choreography was amazing. Visually, it was really, really dope. It's not this crazy CGI world that we got from gasoline, but it was still really, really dope. And I loved what they did um, visually with the lighting and with the sets and everything. Very choreography heavy of a music video, but it really worked for it. But they also paired it with those really, really epic cinematic shots. Um, that were just like really really dope that really makes um here's what I mean with like that less is more when you have so much and some people just want to show it off you know what I mean like most uh, there'd probably be a lot of different editors and uh, other stuff that would want to show off more of those cinematic shots a lot more in the music video but it makes them as it makes them have so much more like power and is so much more impactful when you don't cut to it as much but you present it still in like the way that it should be presented you know what I mean um so it's like I, I really like the editing there and I really liked what they did with that um because it really works for it and it does not always have to be the most intense shots the most craziest thing you know what i mean um the entire music video it really wasn't i mean everything is really epic looking but like those super duper cinematic ones um just hit so much harder when you see less of it you know what i mean if that makes sense does you, you see what i'm talking i hope you get what i'm talking about but i really loved it and i think having this song be part of the repackage album really also fits the album having that retro sound is very present throughout most of those b-sides um so i think it's really really dope i loved it can't wait to get a better look at the choreography he absolutely killed that super duper amazing absolutely loved it go to period thoughts and comment down below check out keys killer if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked me if you want to see more of my videos go and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me on social media twitter instagram tiktok or description down below at the end screen share these videos your friends thank you guys so, so much for watching love you and i'll tell you guys later bye